Hey, what's going on? Aaron Chen here. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be doing some research online about uh, affiliate marketing versus blogging, okay? So over the next few minutes, I will dive into this topic and then you can decide whether you want to become a blogger or if you want to become an affiliate marketer or maybe there's a way for you to do both, right? I'm always coming up with videos that will teach you how to generate more sales in your online business and create more true freedom with the internet. So consider subscribing to my channel anytime I come up with a couple of videos every single week. Hope you enjoy them. So let's dive right into the, into the content, right? So let's talk a little bit about blogging first of all. I, I want to start there, right? And and people that you know are kind of uh, you know beginners and and novices inside of this industry, they don't really know how to differentiate the two. So let me kind of explain to you what blogging is and what affiliate marketing is right now blogging is kind of like this you can see it on the screen right now this is a random blog that I just looked up on Google I typed out how to make money online and I found this blog that says you know it's called save the student.org I'm not related to this blog at all but th this is what a nice blog looks like you know you can see um, they write about different articles within whatever niche that they want whether it's dog training or weight loss or make money online and you can see here this article is written by Owen uh, he's got 40 easy ways to make money uh, quickly right and then you know he, he writes a whole bunch of stuff and the thing about nice blogs is it, it you know it does require a lot of work you have to really curate it you have to write it really well you have to use nice images and stuff like that um, and and this is how you attract a lot of people okay now the problem with blogging which a lot of people don't understand is that it's not just about creating the blog so you know obviously Owen if this is owned by Owen he spent a lot of money and time to make this blog look beautiful because it's got a very nice design it's very clean you know on the right hand side you can see what's trending he's got some hot deals here and this is you know just uh, promotions to other things this is how he monitors monetizes his blog right um, and you know it is a lot of work okay but here's the thing about blogging that a lot of people don't understand it, it is that it's not just about building the blog because once you build a blog that doesn't mean that people are just gonna automatically find it, right? You have to imagine that your blog is like a drop in the ocean, okay? It's like a tiny, tiny little island in the middle of the entire ocean in the world, and if you don't find ways to build bridges to that island, then nobody's ever gonna find your blog, okay? So the whole idea of build it and people will come, that's just a BS idea, there's no such thing. If you build something, you have to learn how to market it, otherwise people can't find it, okay? And that's exactly what blogging is, right? You build a blog, you spend all this time but how are people actually going to find your blog well the way that Owen does it and which is you know what traditional blogging is is he has to do a lot of keyword research so this is actually a keyword right here easy ways to make money quickly right that's probably don't quote me on this but I'm thinking because I've done blogging before that that is the keyword that he's going after right so he obviously did a lot of keyword research and there's a lot of you know learning that you have to do with regards to keywords he, he, he optimized his blog uh, article for this particular keyword phrase so that if someone was to go to Google and they were to type out easy ways to make money quickly, they're going to find his article. That's how you attract people to your blog, all right? And that is the name of the game when it comes to blogging. Now, there are some pros and cons to that, okay? If you do a really good job, it's a great way to attract a lot of people because a lot of people will find you through all these hundreds of different articles and keywords that you, you can go after. Now, it's a lot of work, don't get me wrong, it's a ton of work, in fact, because one is you have to do a lot of keyword research. The, the second thing is you, is you have to build the whole blog, you have to write all these beautiful articles, you have to be pretty knowledgeable on your topic, right? That's another problem. And then the third problem, is you have to try and beat the uh, the Google algorithm, right? Because the whole blogging game uh, is is dependent on you ranking on Google. So if you're not doing what Google likes, you're never going to people are never going to find your stuff. Even if you wrote you know this keyword, easy ways to make money quickly, and this is just this example. Obviously, there are millions of keywords online. You can go after any niche market you want, right? But if you don't do it right then Google will never rank your article on the first page of Google. Does that make sense? Now, if you can't get your article to rank on the first page of Google, and I'll just give you an example right here. If I go to Google right now, and I was to type out um, how to, let, let me see if, if, this might not even be the keyword, easy ways to make money quickly. Easy, easy ways to make money quickly, right? Maybe this isn't even the keyword that he's going after, right? Um, and And you can see, uh, th there it is. There you go. It's the first one. So he did a really good job. Save the student.org. That's the keyword that he's probably ranking for. So he did a really, really good job because this is actually the first organic result in Google in the US, okay, for this particular keyword phrase. Now, in order for him to do that, 
there is a lot of technical stuff that you have to do in the background that you don't see, okay? So blogging is an extremely technical um, skill set that you're gonna have to learn. You have to do a lot of stuff called off-page SEO, right? So you, you have to drive backlinks, you have to um, you have to do all this stuff that, uh, that I'm not gonna talk about in this video today, but just understand that it's very technical, it's extremely difficult to do, and you're always going against the Google algorithm because Google changes their algorithm all the time, right? So if Owen's not careful, you know, maybe he doesn't know what he's doing because, you know, he obviously he seems like he's doing a good job, but sometimes, Google will change the algorithm, and if uh, and if Owen hasn't set up his blog correctly, he will lose the first position. And if he loses this first position, then people aren't going to find his article, which is why blogging is a very, very difficult skill to master. Okay, and this is one of the only ways, the, the main, I would say 80% of bloggers use this strategy to get people to find their stuff, which is very hard because you're always going against the Google algorithm. Now, how does he monetize his blog? Well, basically he can do a couple of things. He can create his own products and he can market them on his blog. He can put ads on the side. He can, he can you know, charge for advertising space and he can get other marketers to put their banners on his blog. He could charge them 100, 200, 500, 1,000 dollars a month, depending on how popular his blog is, right? So if, if he only has 100 people visiting his blog a month, that's not very much, he can't really monetize it that well. But if he's done a really good job, which takes years by the way, okay, this is a this is a, a long-term game. Blogging is a very, very long-term game. Um, maybe he's got you know half a million people visiting his blog a month. Now, if he's got half a million people visiting his blog a month, then his real estate is very, very powerful. And then he can sell that ad space to a lot of different people he can put affiliate offers here, he can do joint ventures, he can do a lot of stuff, right? But the thing is, is that blogging is that kind of game. You have to build up your blog real estate, you have to rank tons of articles on Google, and you have to do it really well and get people to find your stuff, and that is the blogging game, okay? Now, affiliate marketing is completely different, all right? It's, it has nothing to do with blogging, really. Now, yes, if he was to drop an affiliate link here, that is affiliate marketing, but the core of affiliate marketing is not really done through blogging, okay? Okay, let me explain how affiliate marketing really works, okay? Now, remember how I just did a search here? Um, let me see. Actually, I'm gonna do it in a different way, okay? So, uh, let's just say I come to Google, right? And this is one of the ways that you can do it. Now, affiliate marketing has everything to do with building out a sales process, getting people to find that sales process, and then building a relationship with them once they come through the sales process, and then you can recommend products. So it's a little bit different from blogging, right? So, one of the ways that you could get people to find your affiliate marketing sales funnel, as we call it, right? Because it's a, it's a sales funnel, it's a process, you, you process people through that funnel, is to use Google ads, right? Now, I'm on Google right now. If someone was to type out the keyword phrase, how to get six-pack abs, okay, something like that, how to get six-pack abs, right? They might find an ad, and this is an actual ad done by actually a Malaysian company, curves.com.my, right? Now, if I click on this ad, every time you click on an ad, that person pays for that click. So that click might have costed 20 cents, 50 cents, a dollar. It depends on the keyword they're going after, right? So this is an ad. Now I click on it, and I'm gonna go directly to this person who is trying to sell their service online, okay? Now, they may not necessarily be selling a, an affiliate marketing product, but a lot of people do, okay? So let's just assume that this is an affiliate marketing website, okay? This this one probably isn't, but let's just say it, it is, okay? Now, that's how affiliate marketing works. You would basically have a website, and they, you can't see it right now because my face, unfortunately, is blocking it, but they have a little newsletter where you can fill in your name and email address. That's how affiliate marketing works, okay? Now, once I fill out my name and email address, I'm going to be brought into their sales funnel, their sales process, okay? Now, what the sales process is designed to do is to build a relationship with you in that particular niche, okay? So in this particular niche, uh, they're talking about uh, losing weight, you know, strengthening your body, losing weight. I typed out how to get six pack abs. So maybe it's a six, let's just assume it's a six pack ab pro program. And once I enter my details, then they're gonna start to give me more information on whatever I opted in for. So weight loss, learning how to play the piano, getting into my wedding dress, learning how to sing, whatever you decide to sell in affiliate marketing, right? And then if I like the content, if you build a good enough relationship with me, I will buy that piece of, uh, that training, and then you make a commission. And that's what affiliate marketing is. Now, now the beauty about affiliate marketing compared to blogging is that with blogging, you really only have one way to get people to find your stuff, and that is to rank your articles on Google, which is a pain in the butt, to be honest, right? With affiliate marketing, 
There are many, many, many different ways to expose your simple sales funnel, your sales process to as many people as you want. You could promote this link here, right here, right? You can do it on Google AdWords. You can do it on Bing. Let me just show you a few different places that you can do it, right? You can go to bing.com, for example, and you could use Bing's network. They've got an ad network, so Bing, I'll just put Bing advertising so that you can see, okay? And you look, look at this, Bing ads, right? You could do it on Bing. You could do it on Facebook. You know, Facebook Facebook has a huge Facebook ads, right? The, Facebook has a huge ad network, all right? All of these right here, these are all Google ads, by the way. You can see ad, 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 right? There's so many different ways to advertise. So you could do Facebook, you could do um, Bing advertising, you could do, um, um, let me show you some other ones. You could do, um, let me see, uh, display, display networks, right? Look at this, display networks, number one best ad network for publishers and advertisers right? So many different ones. Um, the top display ad networks, I'm just going to click on that to, to show you that there's just so many places that you can actually advertise your stuff, right? And I'll just list them down. Google AdSense is one, right? Oh, even though Google AdSense is a little bit old. Facebook, right, is another one that we just spoke about. M Media is an entire business where they've got thousands of pieces of you know, online real estate that you can just go and advertise with them if you want, okay? Um, what else? Apple advertising, ad knowledge is another very, very big ad network where you can just go there, pay them a little bit of money, and you can leverage their ad platforms, right? And the beauty about affiliate marketing is there's so many ways to get access to your people, whereas blogging, you really just only have one way. I mean, you can do you can do it other ways too, you know? You can use these uh, ad strategies as well, but it's not as lucrative because the way that blogging is built the revenue model is very different. They are based on how many viewers see their stuff and then how much ad platform they can rent out to other people, if that makes sense. Or they can put a couple of affiliate offers on there. With affiliate marketing, basically what you're doing is you're getting as many people to come through your sales process as possible. And then usually you're marketing only one or two or three products very, very strategically. Okay, so you're forcing people through a, a sales process, you're building a relationship with them, and then you're recommending them very, very specific products so that you can generate the maximum amount of sales, all right? So the revenue model between blogging and affiliate marketing is very, very different, okay? In fact, they're two completely different businesses. Now, you could also use blogging within your affiliate marketing sales funnel um, and vice versa, you could use affiliate marketing on your blog, but the way that the, the structure works is very, very different. And it's, it's exactly like I just mentioned earlier. So it just depends on what you're interested in. For me, I just feel that blogging is a very complex way to get, you know, to, to earn 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month. You can do it. And there are a lot of people that have done it, but it's a very, very difficult way to do it. It's like pushing a boulder up a mountain. Okay. Um, now some bloggers would, you know, disagree with that, but I've done blogging very heavily for one to two years. Uh, I went all into blogging and the rest of the time I did a lot of affiliate marketing and out of the two, blogging versus affiliate marketing, I just think that affiliate marketing is way easier, it's way better, there's a lot more of different ways that you can attract people to your affiliate marketing businesses, like I just mentioned, Facebook, Bing, Google AdWords, YouTube, LinkedIn, social media, Instagram, I mean, there's so many different ways to do it, and it's a much more focused way to promote products if you do it in the right way, okay? So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, you can take what you want. You can decide to become a blogger or uh, an affiliate marketer, a pure affiliate marketer, right? Which is two very different things. Uh, and you can decide for yourself which direction you wanna go in, okay? Now, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. So in the comment section, just let me know um, if you had some aha moments. I'd like to know what some of your aha moments are, all right? And if you got some uh, value from this video, would appreciate some thumbs ups. That would, that would mean the world to me. And listen, um, if you're interested, if you're like, Aaron, well, how do I get involved in affiliate marketing? Because that's my specialty, right? So, sorry, if you're into blogging, I'm sorry, you know, that's not really my core area because I did that, you know, many years ago, but the game hasn't changed for blogging. It's pretty much the same. But if you're interested in affiliate marketing, right? How do you pick great products? Where do you find the audience to find your stuff? How do you build a simple but really powerful sales process? How do you maximize profits? How do you sell um, lots of great products to great people all over the world and do it the right way, right? Do it the right way so that you can earn more income, travel the world, you know, um, not have to, you know, work at a full-time job necessarily and do all those great things that uh, an online income can, can give you, right? I would love to show you how to do that. I've got a free training workshop. All you have to do is click the link right below in the description box. It's gonna 
that leads you to my website. On that website, enter your best email address because I'll send that training directly to your email, okay? Make sure you check your spam folder because sometimes, you know, these days email just ends up in spam. Um, and that training is really gonna lay all this out for you and show you step-by-step step how to do it right, okay? If you're interested, in, in building uh, an affiliate marketing business, building a side income, and then growing that, you know, hopefully to a full-time income, and then multiplying that by by leaps and bounds, if that's what you want to do. All right. So listen, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you learned a little bit more about blogging and affiliate marketing, and I hope to speak to you soon on the next page. Take care. All the best.